And along those uh, lines, so to speak, of what I was talking about regarding like raising children and also fighting very dominant apex creatures, here's obviously an encounter of a young brave with a grizzly and then also an encounter with a mountain lion that he hunted and they definitely do uh, fight very savagely when a lion is injured there's even that video on youtube you guys probably have seen it i was talking about this with my bro i think of the the mountain lion that was hungry and the dude that was hunting and he's shooting at it with a pistol and it's not running away it's like i'm still hungry like i'm still trying to hunt you like they'll hunt you you know when you hunt things that can hunt you that's when you really find out where your bravery is man and uh I didn't really talk much about the vision section of this this book. Um, how the chieftains, once they had a big tribe and a family, right? And they had young braves wanting to become, young boys wanting to become young braves. They would actually send their children up to a mountain for a time to seek a vision from the creator, from God. And when they were seeking their vision, they would fast on the top of the mountain. They would pray using incense, tobacco. And when they would, you know, be up on that mountain, like it was their job to be up there until they got a vision from the creator so that they could come back into the tribe and be renamed. And, you know, vision seeking and dream catching, like those, those things had sacred meanings to the tribe. And it's very, very interesting you know, imagine you today going on a journey up to, let's say for me, uh, a place I'd like to climb was, they call it the devil's tower. I ain't scared of evil, dude. I fear no evil. Like imagine going up and climbing up um, that rock out there in, uh, you know, that part of the land. And imagine like being up there until you receive this great vision from the almighty. What, what would you, what would you think you would dream if you were up there surviving for a day, three days, a week, and then your descent down, what would you learn on that journey? What would your, your destiny be? You know, the harder the, the climb, the greater the destiny in some, in some senses. You know, it's, it's a very interesting thing for the Lakota people to have their, their young sons do. It's a lot like the Spartan culture, the Agage, and I want to get into that as well. I got plenty of books on Greek history, and you guys know that that's kind of the next thing I want to do with the channel <sighs> is go into the life and times of the Greeks and Alexander the Great. Um, but I really love Native American culture, and I wanted to share this before we get into it because appreciating culture is very, very important. And I think it's a very awesome practice that the tribesmen of this land did. Studying the Native American tribes is like going back in time. It's like seeing what Greece was before Greece was Greece. Seeing what, you know, these metropolitan ancient civilizations were prior to, you know, tribal culture being kind of eradicated. Like, you know, instead of like a group of people honoring, you know, chieftains and like the, their their way of life, imagine when somebody wants to take control in a greedy way and like make things more than just a tribe. You know, if you guys go and look into Thomas Cole's paintings, there's a really awesome, I don't have the lithos on me, but there's an awesome story that he tells through the rise and fall of an empire. Look up Thomas Cole painting. Um, it's like a, like one, two, three, four, five paintings. I think if I remember right of, the rise and fall of an empire. And it goes from like nature in its wild sense to tribal living, to the building of an empire, to the, the height and climax of an empire. It goes to the war and the fall of an empire. And then it goes into desolation back to what, you know, it once was <sighs> so interesting. And, uh, yeah, vision seeking in tribal culture, very, very important naming, a boy and naming him as a man receiving his feathers right very important um and also a great challenge you know unless you put somebody through something like that what do you think they become if they if they didn't have those rights and ways of passage it's almost like the journey of boyhood into manhood and thomas cole has a you know a section on that as well 
the voyage of life, man, or the voyage of life of a man. Those are four paintings, also very interesting. So it was the same in native culture as well, guys. Peace. And what would it say about you, right? Uh, I want to keep going now. What would it say about the man who not only sought the vision, but killed a bear or killed a wolf or killed a lion? What would it say about that boy's destiny that he was brave enough to kill these great creatures? Think about David. David killing not only Goliath, but before he killed Goliath, he killed bears and lions with his own hands. You know, like, that's a very important rite of passage in a young boy's life, becoming a man, being brave enough to take on an adversary that is themselves great. So keep that in mind, too. Peace.